Hello and welcome back to the final video in the um, Paint Your Train Case series. So I know I can't believe it's already, um, we've already had fun. We've already decorated our box, our, our magical suitcase, but um, I wanted to kind of show you guys what I ended up doing with the inside and then um, with this video I'm going to show you how I'm going to outline um, some of my drawings on the I have a tendency to do some shadowing with, um, I'll show you with some watercolor uh, markers and I'm going to be using my um, uh, Faber Castle uh, pen to do some outlining. Um, I always kind of complete my drawings with some outlining. This is definitely optional um, because a lot of times you can do, you know, get enough definition where, um, but I've always done a lot of my paintings like this so this is kind of how I'm gonna wrap up um, the my uh, box now. Typically, and I'll kind of step talk about this as well. And I'm gonna show a small patch, especially the top of my train case. But I was looking at my my around my edges here, and I think I'm gonna be adding a few other things. So I'm gonna wait before I put a sealant on it. I will put a sealant on the front, and I'll show you guys how I do that. That'll be the final last thing that I do. So that way you can, because it takes, because usually I like things to dry overnight um, when I seal it or, you know, unless you do it early in the morning, you know, those kind of things. But I just like to um, really get a uh, uh, chance for it to dry. So that's going to be my last thing I do in this video. But I also didn't want to um, do all the sides yet because I'll show you my little goose that I had added, my little duck. And um, I guess it can't, it either has to be a goose or a duck. <laughs> but um, I didn't, want, I was thinking, oh, I still probably will want to add a few more things to the, to the, to the body of it. So I'm not going to seal that just yet, but we'll seal the top. That way you can get an idea of, it's very, if you've done Mod Podge, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, so let me talk about the front, the inside here first. So we left off with the idea that these little bands here that are holding all these fun little goodies um, I was going to use E6, E6000 but I ended up testing out a s small bit of this uh, fabric fix glue that I had. I put some a little piece under this one and I checked I checked it out um, that you know I did it last night so I checked it out this morning and it was if it I mean it was sealed it was great so I just went ahead and used this again on the other ones and that way I didn't have to leave and go get any glue so I just wanted to let you guys know I did do that I so I did glue the flowers like I had talked about and then I have these pretty little roses um, I've had these for a while so they were in my stash so I just kind of put those in here I had them over here in the corner but I wanted the eyes to come down not over you know those kind of things so but I think this is something that can be a work in progress I did um, I bought a bunch of these little cute, they're like, um, they're little rubber rainbows, um, but I like to put them in my journals and things like that, but I just took a gold um, clothespin and and, clo and pinned it on here. It's almost kind of like a bulletin board in, inside your train case that um, you can decorate with. Um, I also added this little tag up here that says enjoy the journey, and then um, I know we had talked about the little, um, uh, n not at not allowing enough slack. Let me walk, come down here a little bit. Not allowing enough slack. So I just added a few more pom poms on this side. Um, I put these. Um, I love bars of soap, um, but this one is like a rose smell, and so what? I always have these sitting out on my on my um, desk here, and so what I do? Oh, it smells so good. I just flip them over. And then it kind of like, I love having, when you walk into my studio, um, smells um, that smell good. So I, I just stuck this in here and I'm going to close this up for tomorrow because I'm going to be filling this up tomorrow. Now, I thought I would come back. I wasn't, I had talked about, mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I think I'm going to come back and do like a bonus video of showing you guys exactly what I'm going to be putting in my train case. So um, I hope I can get... Um, I've got a lot of orders that I'm shipping out, so I'm really hoping I can get to that tomorrow. So, um, closing this up, it's such a treasure in there. Um, we can get to the, the, whoops, 
we can get to don't tell me this one's gonna act up um that's what happened to the other one it's like oh so getting to the front the top let me see where we're at on their camera so you can see with the lettering i did some highlighting and what i used on here was uh just some glitter markers and um and i just kind of went through on some of them outlined them in lettering but i'm going to show you guys really quick here and actually i'm going to move my camera up a little bit so you you can see what i'm doing and I put a little palette and a paintbrush on there. So I'm going to take my fabric, uh, my Faber, not fabric, my Faber Castle pen. This is a B. Now, now on my canvases and stuff like that, I will use this, these Micron pens. But I tried it out on this, and, and with it being that um, coarse um, surface, it doesn't it doesn't uh, highlight very well, or doesn't. I call this highlighting, but it really is just outlining a little bit. So, I don't know if you can see here. Let's see if I can do this. So, I'm just going to just kind of outline my, um, and I do this a lot, just, just to kind of add a little bit of, um, I don't know what you would call it, just some shape to to your... your designs and again this is a B so it's kind of a it's kind of a um, flare type pen but kind of like you're just adding to your doodles your little paints so that's kind of what what I do as a final touch um, to my train case and I'm gonna come down here oh let me kind of show you a little bit. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to outline my girl quickly here. Let me see if I can get it to where if I put it up like this. And I move my camera, that may be better. Oh, and you can see I need to do the out bottom too. That's one of the ongoing things I need to do. So, thank you for being patient with my adjusting. So, like what I do here is I just kind of go down and I just do like a little sweeping motion. And I don't I don't necessarily do a solid line and I'm going to actually just kind of add her some little slip-on shoes here. And with her wearing the striped leggings, I'll just kind of come through and um, add them. So it's just kind of a kind of a wonky little <laughs> using Trisha's word here, um, but I don't necessarily. I guess what I'm saying is I kind of do a sketching outline. I don't necessarily do a solid. doesn't mean you can't you could definitely do a solid outline but I'm just gonna kind of come in here add a little bit more shape to her Always kind of tricky trying to get this on camera here. Let me see if I can move this up a little bit here for y'all. And as you can see, I've kind of added a little bit of sketching already. That's when I was trying out my pen to see um, if it would. Which pen would work the best is outlining on this. I talked about actually adding some paint on the tip of her paintbrush, which I can definitely do that. And 
and then um, a lot of times what I'll do around um, her face let's see if I can find it I love these um, these watercolor markers and so sometimes these work really good to do some shading as well and actually to believe it or not I'm gonna leave her face blank I think I may come back in here and add or add some texture I mean add um, some face but I think I'm actually I usually don't do that I usually have to have a face on my girls but I think I'm gonna leave her blank and then you this is a Vicki Bolton um, watercolor and so what I like about using these watercolor markers is they just add a little bit of sh shadowing. Now what I do notice is with these, um, when you go to use your, especially if you use it right after, you use your watercolor, if you go to use your um, paintbrush to put your sealant, it will run. I've had some um, planner covers do that. And I actually kind of like the way it looks, but just keep that in mind that if that's not what you're going for, because I had to learn to kind of go, oh, okay, well, let me see if I can play with with the outcome of this, which it, it ended up being fine, but at first I was going, oh, no, it's it, it runs, you know. And then in order to kind of do a braid, I just kind of do a little sort of, little sweepies in here like that and her hair I'm just gonna kinda add little sweeps in there another thing that would be really fun with the crown is you could add little uh, you could use your glue and add little gems to the top of them. I think I'm going to just kind of come in here. There. So you kind of get the idea of, of outlining. See, and then with this, I may be a little bit more not so. rigid on it. Those are little stamps that I used. Oh, speaking of stamps, so you kind of get an idea of, of the outlining. Um, let's see if we can move move it back or bring it here. Are, remember the BU? We were talking about the stamps that I was going to show you guys. Well, I had to um, I had to try it out and see. So I think they turned out really good, but like what I'll come in here and do with this outline is just now you can definitely do this with paint, with white paint. I, I, for me, I, I love the look of just some kind of ink in there to define it more. But it's, it is something just that I like to do. <laughs> so. Okay. And I'll come back and do the, the face and stuff like that on... But that way you guys get an idea of um, the face on my, my thing. I actually like this. I don't see me having to do a whole lot. But to be consistent with the rest of the, the page. With the rest. I'm sorry. <laughs> Calling my. With the rest of the train case. Because it is your page. It's your canvas. I may just kind of come in here and add just a little sweeping notions motions here and there maybe add a little bit or around the the circles but I love how it already looks so I don't want to there's I don't really feel like there's a whole lot that I need to do but maybe just add some little sweeps here and there but as far as his eyes I'm happy with the way that he turned out so that'll be something that I can kind of finish that up and then on the swing again I'm real happy with the way the swing turned out but to have some consistency I'll just kind of do that okay so let me move on to the final step 
um, that I get most of the time I get a lot of questions on. They always ask, what do you seal it with? Because it's a little, this this isn't as sticky, but like sometimes this, this is kind of, it will end up being a little sticky and you just kind of want to seal it. So I always use this um, Instant Decoupage on my original email um, that I had posted about the um, supply list. I have a link to Amazon where you can buy this. Now one of the things, whoops, you can put it on a, a paper plate or you can just add it directly to your train case. And just like you do regular decoupage, you're just going to add a layer of this. And this won't is not a sticky sealant, so um, it you won't have any problems with it. Um, you know how regular day um, Mod Podge can stick, and if you add things to the top of it, it'll create like a. Um, I don't know. To me, it just I'm not I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. I've had. Uh, what do you call it? Um, notebooks and, and journals and stuff. When I had made cop when I had Mod Podge, this has been a while back, but I had Mod Podged and um, it became up sticky. So what I'm going to do is kind of wait till this side dries and then I'll flip the handle over. Now the handle we didn't kind of talk about that. You can paint it. Um, you can add ribbon to it. You can leave it plain. It's really up to, I don't know what I'm going to do with mine. I think I might add ribbon um, to it, or I may paint it. I may paint it. Probably paint it pink. What about paint it? Whoops. That's quite a bit. So I'm going to put some of that back in my glue. here on my glue. <laughs> but I love this glue. I use it on my canvases. I just didn't mean to use so much. Okay, so you get the idea. Like I said, I will wait for this side to dry a little bit. And I do dry mine overnight. So, I don't hope you guys were inspired by this whole um, series uh, make hopefully if you run across train cases you'll think about them on a whole nother level about what you can do with them <laughs> now oops I did notice some of that um, oh that ink that I used that glitter glitter paint pen kind of smudged a little bit over there but I'm okay with that um, <clears throat> excuse me, so I'm really going to, I want to come back and do a bonus video on filling it up, but, um, it may come in later. I may be tomorrow. So it just depends on uh, my schedule and how things go. Um, so it is Saturday tomorrow. So sometimes when everybody's home, it can be a little crazy, but, um, anyway, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. Hope you're inspired. Uh, be sure to tag me if you're um, if you're showing your train case on social media. Um, I would love to see what you're doing and and um, and probably get inspired by you too because I think this is this is part of the art world is inspiring one another and I would love to see your creativity. All right, you guys. Thanks again. I'll see you um, in my next video.